My dear brothers and sisters, the widow who gives all she had to live on to the temple treasury could be understood as an image of Jesus who gave all he had, his life, for others. Jesus gave his life totally to us. Although the widow gave very little in monetary terms, her giving was more generous than the larger contributions of others because she gave her all. She reminds us that generosity is not always easy to measure. Those who appear to be giving little may in reality, be more generous than those who appear to be giving a lot. At the end of the day, it is really only the Lord who can measure generosity because he alone knows what we can give. The poor widow's intention was to give what she had. But other people give to show off. I know in my country, when someone is gonna donate something, he has to, to invite news reporters to be there that is gonna give. So that everyone knows that the person is gonna donate. And yet you find some people who donate wholeheartedly what they have because they know they are not giving to anybody but to who? To God. That is what the widow did. She gave each and everything to God. The Lord's assessment of generosity will often be very different to how we access it. Whereas we, we tend to look at what is visible, the Lord looks deeper. He looks at the heart. What is the intention of giving is so important. When I give, what is my mot motive to give? Is it to give so that people can see, oh, I'm giving because I want to give. And after giving, what is my motivation? Do I go around and say, you know what? I gave to the church one million US dollars. Yes, I'm the one who donated the largest amount of money. No. And someone can give a hundred dollars, but that is what he or she has. God will appreciate her because that is the only thing he or she had. And she had no any other intention. The widow would not have made much of a visible impression on those who saw her. But she made a big impression on Jesus and he pointed her out to his disciples. Jesus sees what is deeper, what is in the heart. The gospel reading reminds us, my dear brothers and sisters, that there is often more people we meet. Our eyes see who are really giving, and we think, wow, that is a lot. But in the eyes of God, is there, wow? What we see with our naked eyes, and you say, wow, might be completely different in the eyes 
of God. So let us always focus on God, not on people. Let us focus on our church as OLPH, not to focus on Father Patrick, Father Boland, Father Jim, Father Larry. No. We give to the church. This is our church, my dear brothers and sisters. Tomorrow, Father Patrick can decide to go somewhere else, but this is your church. So the, the widow knew that the temple where she belonged is where she has to give all what she had. Can we all of us give our lives completely to Jesus? Amen. Please join us for the rosary. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. How wonderful that we can share God's word, the celebration of the Eucharist, and other important words and events with those who may not be able to be with us in person. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. Click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.